So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Geo's S4. We're of course playing with the Amana Fancy mod as Beggar Stunton. Right here in the Yin. We are currently just waiting for next year so we can start stomping uh, Malakna the way they deserve, they deserve it. <coughs> We're currently also just finishing up some uh, territory from Evanmas. But overall, things are looking decent enough. There's a bit of rebel. Okay. They are not that crazy. Let's integrate the half orcs. So. Uh, this has been picked. So we're gonna take that, like I said before. Let's do the artillery piece. Wait, are we currently automatically picking things or am I just going crazy? I think both. Uh, Malagna, <laughs> war it is, right? You have numbers, but do you have dashing good looks? I don't think so. Uh, what do I even have claims on? It does, I guess it doesn't matter, we're just gonna overrun you. Let's quickly punch for this. Uh, let's make these guys sad. Okay, there they pop up. Uh, that's a decent amount of enemy. What do we have here? So we, can we get another stability? Culture conversion? No. I don't really like any of these, to be honest. Let's take the land main. I mean, do I need land mains? I actually am rich, aren't I? Yeah, let's take it. Screw it. Let's quickly go over here and uh, deal with these guys. Because they've decided to sacrifice 10k, to 10k cannons. For some reason. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I got damage. They, did they escape me? They might have. Okay. This is open. Let me just quickly go over here. They have their armies over here. I can live with that. That is the one area that I don't care about. So, you have for some reason also have went here without a leader. So, there's that. Wait, what? Oh, the course fell away. I guess that's also a way to deal with this mission. Good. We still love Ada. No matter what her followers have done, the domination of Dame's Crown, the sale of our home to a king by contract, or their outright fear when we attempt to spread charity, we still are her disciples. Beggar is an avatar of Ada. They both share the domain of fortune, prosperity, and plenty. There's one piece of Ada's worship, though, which we can never reconcile with ourselves. Her version of fortune is not only the mutual blessings of good things coming to those who give, it is instead one of weaponized luck. Nowhere is this clearer than Tirdu Moin, a casino that has raised itself from the sands of the western expanse, a place of immeasurable mercenary and exploitation. We shall therefore re raid this affronting den of debauchery and seize all of its ill-gotten gains. Then we'll show them what real prosperity looks like. We'll distribute the casino's as assets to all the peasants who need it. So we get uh, uh, more claims, we get money, we lose corruption. We don't even have corruption, but I guess I'll we'll take this either way. Uh, we're of course not going to do this yet. We're going to wait until uh, Salokshana has everything caught. Because we get uh, admin and mill points, plus an additional 5 of both of each. Sada, Runeborn, Culture Province, and Salokshana has a core in. So yeah, this is a, lo a little bit more waiting. Uh, let me just quickly do this. And this at some point. For now, we'll just beat up Malagna guys here. We gotta... wait. Oh, there's, there's, there's a single province that... wait. Okay, I guess we do have something for you for you guys here, which is not too difficult. I guess we'll take that eventually. For now, let's quickly punch through all of these things. These siege that. I'm not too happy about this one here, that these guys took over the siege. But hey, so be it. So you guys are going for that. Uh, do I need you? Sure. Is, is he good? Oh, yeah, he is. He is real good. <laughs> he, he, he's real good. Let's take him. Okay. I would like to punch for this before I jump on these guys, but we can kill these smaller guys in the meantime. He says, and then gets attacked. <laughs> uh, do I win this? Okay, I do win this. I mean, they're missing the tech. They're not reinforcing that. Okay. Now oh, we kill the battle king. 
cool. Look, look at us go. <laughs> there we go. We uh, just think our army is cool. Uh, let's get over here and kill some of these smaller armies. There we go. Finally punch through that. You guys can deal with this. Kill more. Just kill all of them. Uh, I, I guess it's time that we go for these forts. We just need a war score now. Oh, you actually... Whoops. Wait, are you doing this on your own? You did. Wait, where are you retreating to? Uh, I don't know. It's a bit goofy, isn't it? Uh, let's pick this. I guess that makes sense. Like now, the separatists. Okay, yeah, we're gonna send you up here and deal with this. You're going. Oh, you are. Okay, you are going on. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> adventure. <laughs> sure. Uh, we're gonna uh, try to get these guys. You deal with that. Uh, this is military. We don't need that. We kill these guys. Okay. Beat up these guys. <laughs> penalty, penalty. Okay. <laughs> Just slaughter them. <laughs> we give them the realization that they're not real good at fighting. <laughs> Quickly punch through here so we have this open. Uh, the war goal is not in our hands yet. The dev wants to let. Where's that? Trevor saw. Let's quickly check. Trevon Sweat. Oh, right here. Okay. So you are gonna deal with this. You guys are gonna clean up some of this stuff. Then we're gonna run back up again. They constantly have to deal with pretenders because uh, for some reason their kings keep dying. Curious. Very curious. Oh, lovely. There we go. Of course, the Dames Grand Province. Uh, let's send you here. While someone else does something else, I gladly help you against your pretender rebels. Look at me being kind. Runeborn refugees. I no longer need manpower. I am done. I have done the manpower. I'll take the development as well. Uh, I guess it's time to run over here. I mean, I would like to cut them uh, off. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Next one? So, you dealt with that. Uh, let's go over here for this fort. Oh yes, like I said, we don't really need to do anything. This just gets discovered for us. The forts need to be enough. Wait, did we just go to fucking 92 over there? <laughs> cool. <laughs> At least that is working correctly. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to run over here and deal with this. Still, I'll let you know how to wa how about all. At least they have numbers left everywhere, right? Uh, if they're all over there, I, c I guess I can just send my stuff over here. There, this one. God damn it. Stop lying to me and telling me that we actually are causing fights here. Oh, we could, we could do this one now. Army drill gain. Well, this might even be better. Actually, with the half orcs. More manpower, army drill gain, leather shock. Okay, drill gain and regimental drill loss, I don't care. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so. <laughs> Checkmate. Atheists. Okay. Seems like they're all sitting around here. 77. I think if, if these two forts fall, we should be done. Uh, we have Diplo. We can just death then. I assume that the Damesteer province are popping up. Yeah. And Damesteer is no, uh, is no uh, thing anymore. Just a uh, uh, recolored coal. Okay, this is this is a lot of dudes technically. Do I even want to attack this? 
Means 31, I guess I could probably... Yeah, I can win this. Oh, thanks. Ah, <laughs> uh, we, we littered the ground with battle, battle kings and battle queens. At some points, some points you wonder if I killed more than, uh, than actual soldiers. <laughs> You're already dwindling, very cool. It's not very nice, is it? Okay, there's 92. We have everything that we need. So, first of all, Sada culture. God damn it. Uh, but I think I know what uh, we have here. I mean, we're gonna take all of this anyway. This is where the Sada culture stops, right? Yes, this is all Sada culture. This promise we're gonna keep for ourselves. That we have to remember. So, what else? We have still a, a bunch of points left over. We could do this, but I rather would attempt this stuff. I'm not sure if we need it, but it's uh, supposed to be mine. I clearly can see that. So, lovely. Let's hand over the, the goods to Selokshana. Everything but this province here. You've extended. Okay, then we need to wait a second. I guess I also need to wait with this then a second. I'm gonna click this and then just remove the ones that I have here. Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't even do any. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we could really now deal with the dams as well. We don't need that. You guys are still getting happy. Okay. What else do we have? This is still a year away. I feel like I could do this, but then they are not gonna core that, so... You're still coring stuff, aren't you? Not sure. Oh well. Get back home. Uh, you guys are gonna go over here. And you guys are gonna go down here. We've become a great power. Lovely. We're gonna become probably a greater power when we have all of this. Uh, this is this is this one. This is not cored yet. But it, we should be able to do this dam here, right? Oh, you already have been upgraded. Okay. Isabellin wants to be my friend. Isabellin is tiny. I don't need friends. <laughs> do I look like I need friends? Uh, do you guys have tapped? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. <coughs> so let's let them enjoy life. While we slowly but surely deal with everything, all of our own problems. We have more stuff to do here. I mean, this one obviously makes sense. Tom's side we don't care about. We'll just slowly but surely... ...grant you the right provinces, if you finally core stuff. I mean, I guess, how do I look at this? Okay, I see what you're coring, but I don't see... Oh. Trolls! Ooh, okay. I mean, I would like to also accept trolls. I want to be accepting towards everything. Do you not see my peaceful ways? <laughs> we need we need to teach those feudal lords uh, of, of, of our peaceful ways by force, as always. Yeah, okay, I feel like we're gonna have a direct war against uh, Ebot Hill at some point. You are not doing that. Yeah, we don't care about this. We don't care about this. I mean, it's alright that we convert it. Okay, uh, actually everything over here is perfect. Uh, level 3 cost advisor. Oh, uh, Diplotech. <coughs> Lovely. Shining Circle Peasants. That's not us anymore. There we go. Oh, it seems like they had like one big one. 
There we go, and there we go. Those are all the provinces that you need. Now we just need to uh, core all of it. Let's take a look. You're working towards it. Lovely. Level 3 advisor. We do have a decent chunk of half cost advisors, so we might as well just take it. So, with that also done, we can do the last step here. This is gonna cost me a decent chunk of Diplo points, right? 300. That is manageable. But that will also just make us completely full. How much development do you have, actually? 300. We are actually gonna nearly be uh, on the right level. This is gonna take too long, right? Yep. Like now. Do we want to... I mean, this is not gonna change anything. Uh, let's make gnomes more accepted, actually. What's this? Oh, separation of power? Yes. Thank you. Uh, just six more and we could have another army. And I guess when we, as soon as we eat these guys up, we should have another army. Corn's field. Uh, I think I have my next target. Uh, Malagna and Ebonmas. Yes, let's put one here as well. There we go. I mean, there's a fort there, so it's alright. We'll see what all other stuff is gonna be up to deal with soon enough. And we still have that stuff. We can pick the reform that I, for that I skipped beforehand because we have switched off that. I feel like... I mean, yeah, this, this one's easy every time. I'm just gonna take the only capacity. Then we should be able to keep all of this stuff in. And also turn them accepted, that's also still necessary. <coughs> you guys are gonna become happier. Uh, let's take that. Did I not turn this on? Let's turn this on. Lovely. Getting back up there. I feel like I should be gonna be soon enough. Wait, did I put a spy network here now? Yes, I did. I don't have a reason to attack you now, do I? Why, these guys would have claims. Interesting. Okay, what do we have here? Megasonic Particularists? Okay, that's not gonna rise up. Harafne Separatists? Really? Right over here. Uh, I assume that you have caught this place? You have a permanent claim on it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Come on, guys. Do your job. It's only the Golden Dome. I mean, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. They still have to do. Let's get some more prestige, and we can also finish this one up again. We do. Yeah, our prestige is just gonna stay on top all the time now. No worries there. All of this stuff done again, lovely. I guess, I guess we also should not necessarily do like that chunky more conquest at the moment, as we uh, still have the admin idea to deal with. That feels correct. I guess I could also just wait. Right, you've done these places. Are you currently coring them? Or you've, you've caught them? Why are you not coring these two? <laughs> I wonder. What's what's the reason behind that? Yeah, there's plenty of admin that we have to spend on this. I mean, once again, we're gonna be behind on admin, but that happens more often than not. I guess the one thing that I could do is do this war for this province here. They like me. They are a lot weaker than me. I want this province. Let me just quickly deal with this. You guys can help me while you core your own stuff. I assume that you're just struggling with admin. That's the only reason you take so long. Uh, prestige doesn't matter. Let's occupy this province. Against the cult. 
So. Oh, Malagna is uh, dealing with this, but the good thing is they only can go over here. We'll see if that turns into anything for me. Uh, you guys are getting pushed down. You guys are not looking that much crazier. Okay, I think I'm alright. There we go. Even if it takes a while, they are fi they are finishing up this stuff. Then they just need this one. Uh, do we... Uh, I guess we could have a quick look around. I mean, to be honest, the next uh, institution is popping up soon enough. So it would be nice. Sure, if I want this. Let's let's take this. Uh, dame, let's make use of that dame steer. I mean, Malagna seems to be doing all right. If if you manage to get the uh, Epotili route out, that's gonna be all right. I I'm re very willing to punch Malagna proper a few times. Swore exhaustion, I assume, but also increases that. We don't need much. We just need this province and. Uh, that's about it. Uh, that's military. Let's take that. Elves are upset. Let's make turn elves into integrated. We do have some elves around after all. Global trade pops up. I mean, we are not really the trade nation. At the moment at least. What do we even have in terms of centers of trade? We're currently collecting in uh, the lower yin. Which I guess is correct. Like all of these guys push over there. Oh, well, except you. Uh, the Broken Sea might be better. Or maybe in the end Dalair, when it comes around. We'll see how far these guys want me to go. Du -du 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 -du. So, that should be enough. I mean, I just literally want this province, that's about it. That I have a claim on. That is about it. Oh yeah, okay, Malagna. Might have gotten kicked by me, but they seem to be still doing fantastically well against others. Ah, uh, we do have some rebels. Some separatists up there, I assume. All the way up here. Oh. Not too bad. For now, the only thing that we care about is until this core is finished. And when that is done, we can finally eat these guys up. And continue on our mission tree. We need to accept Sada culture, which is gonna probably happen very soon. After we've done that, we can also do this one right away. We, do, we are going to get a lot of points. We get 5 admin and 5 military points, plus an additional 5 of both. Wait. This says we get 5 admin and 5 military points, plus an additional 5 of both. So 10 of both for each Sada Runeborn Culture Bronze that is a coronet. No, no, we, we just straight up gain 5 admin and 5 mil points. And then we get 5 mil points and 5 admin per startup. This is really, really weirdly phrased. Sure. I accept. <laughs> sure, you guys can do something. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I actually own the province before I do stuff. You guys just speed this up, the conversion. All very easy. Let's keep the money around. This is something that you guys should technically be able to do yourselves. Uh, we can also easily do another army. Yes, lovely. It's actually a great an army template. 16, 4, 5. Plop. <coughs> Wait, isn't that... Okay, you already caught that. Good. We literally just wait for this one at the moment. It, uh, the, it doesn't say... Uh, it just says a core, right? 
has a core on it. The Toritora core, I assume, will count. Probably. Maybe. Most likely. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it if it's all, if this is alright. Uh, you guys got a leader. Let's not forget that. So it seems like we don't really have much going on here. These guys pop up there. These guys... Go more. Go more. Go more. This is called Gomo Sengan. Okay, I was <laughs> confused me for a second. Actually, you guys just wander up there. So. I've done all of that. Lovely. Stability. Fantastic. Statement. Died. Not fantastic, but sure. <coughs> so. I would also then use this ones. So you have everything caught. Lovely. Which then means, first of all, I want to quickly spend some military points so I don't have too much here. Uh, let's also, I guess, make use of that. Path of gold. The last Lord of Sada. The Avarin nobles huddle inside the tier keep. Despite numerous vassals fighting alongside our forces in the wars against their masters, former liege and former levy now conspire together. Their fears of what we shall do outweigh any previous hostilities. In Velspakar, peasants toil by the dams, their lives have been uninterrupted by our conquests, and at best, perhaps they know, there has been a change in leadership. The life of a peasant in Sada is one where lords change with the tides of the river, and we have not yet proven ourselves any different than the lords which have always ruled over them. In Selokshana, our loyal Talvin Nyanise uh, has reached a new epiphany. At the height of his power with Sada consolidated, he has decided that he will abdicate for the good of his people. As he relinquishes his ground to be rendered into pieces, tiny little circles of gold, each to be distributed to his provinces, Talvin becomes a paragon of beggar like few have ever known. We shall erect shrines and temples it of him, uh, to him like we have to beggar, and to Matilda Silverlocks. With his act, the lower yin will be free, free, uh, uh, free. From now on forever, Sada shall never see another lord. There we go. Yoink. Uh, we do need to accept Sada culture, which obviously we're gonna do. There we go. Let's also quickly integrate all of this stuff. I want everything. Also, some of... I mean, I guess I could technically would have could have waited for these, but who cares. Land reforms. The ground of Sada has been divided into golden circles and distributed throughout the Yin. As the eminent Talvin Yen Nisel wished, his power will be divided along with his crown. Each shining circle will be given to a community and that community will be given the power to rule itself. For the first time the people, not their lords, shall determine what gets planted, who grows the crops and who will profit from the sweat of their own brow. We said that we would end Yenic feudalism and we meant it. The lords may whine and whimper at the seizure of their estates and holdings, but their cries no longer mean anything to us. We have conquered Sada and we may now free its people. Let a redistribution begin and let the river flow freely. We gain 5 reform progress, uh, plus an additional 5 for each Sada Runeman culture that Sada that we... The Luxelokshana has a core in, okay. Lovely. The lords will do something at some point, good for them. You see, says the member of the river's hands in heavily extended Sada, beggars just like the river. The river brings fortune and it gives so much, but the more we keep it healthy and give it in return, the better it is able to provide. We tend to its dams and it tends to us. Through mutual support we all we all are better off. The Sada farmer nods. So, he responds, what do I have to give you? The cleric shakes her head aggressively. No, <laughs> it you you do not give anything. You see, I am just trying to explain what beggar in our circles can do for you, through charity. Hmm, I understand. It's a contract. You give us protection and in return we give you some of the crops, right? Where do I drop them off? It is supposed to be a mutually gift, not simply taken by obligation. I do not want your crops. I want you to keep them for yourself. I just want you to understand. Look, just tell me wh who I who to give my crops to. Damn it! I want you to keep them. <laughs> I like that a lot. I mean, it makes sense that uh, uh, peasants who have been ruled are uh, clearly like. I mean, there is a certain aspect of the feudal contract that makes sense, obviously. And basically, re-explaining re that to someone is very special. 
<coughs> we have more to read, actually. In the south, our circles are established with vigor. Unlike the chaos in the north, where peasants have ceased tilling the lands past what they must to feed only themselves, the southerners seem to understand the spirit of giving and all it entails. The most charitable uh, are given the best lands and resources, for they are strong enough in character to use them responsibly. And in response, they give the excess products on their services to those around them. A contributional equilibrium is established where those who give the most are given the most in return. There's only one problem. The Sada of Avarsil, Fadvedevich and Avadin have democratically come to us with a proposal. The full conquest of the Brusev, Nonjenik, Runeborn and the regions surrounding their lands. Delegations have arrived from nearly a hundred southern, southern circles, each requesting that we aid them in expanding the borders to new territories. They have gifted us command over their best soldiers as part of their request, and so, well, we must give them what they want in return, no? <laughs> uh, that's really cool. <laughs> right, so like, they, they give us something, and so we give something back? <laughs> and they gave us soldiers. Interesting. Alright, so we do have a few more claims. That's really only just a few more, it's just basically three or something like that. We do want to eat up Ebonmas and uh, more Malagna, obviously. But for now we're gonna end this episode here. So I go always like the Rhyme Shenanigans and I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!